Hello everyone, welcome to your very own YouTube channel and this is Dr. Nikita here, your mentor, educator and friend. So the most common query that I receive from the students is, I take a lot of time to learn a particular topic and even after learning that topic, I'm not able to remember it for long. So I am going to address this issue in the today's video with some important useful tips. So stay tuned till the end because I guarantee you that if you follow these tips, this is definitely going to help you and you will see a jump in your scores in the exam. So tip number one is have time bound deadlines to learn a particular topic. Generally, what do we do is we don't have the timelines like I have to finish this particular topic, let's say head and neck anatomy in this next one hour or one and a half hour. When you have that uh, timeline, when you have that deadline, automatically you have that, you know, the external pressure. Sometimes the external pressure is good and it helps you work faster. So have those time bound deadlines. And at the same time, when you are having those deadlines, focus on that particular topic itself or that particular subject itself. So what do we generally do is when we are reading anatomy, then we'll get care of physiology baki hai, then it's biochemistry baki hai. So during that time, as I call it time boxing, focus on that particular task only, which is in your hand and nothing else. So that's the tip number one. Second, tip number two, as you are reading, highlight the important points. Not everything is important, whatever you are reading, right? So highlight the important points, the potential questions or the uh, lines which help you remember the entire page. Once you have highlighted that, then make the notes. One sticky note, one page, one sticky note is what should be your target so that your entire page is summarized in that one sticky note on that page. So next time when you come back to that book, it is only the sticky note that you would be revising and nothing else. And if not sticky note, you are not very comfortable using sticky notes. You can make that gist of that uh, page in just four to five lines in your notebook. Make the use of flow charts, make the use of mind maps. They help you remember a lot of stuff in a limited space, a limited page. That's tip number two. Now coming to tip number three, once you have finished reading a particular subtopic or a topic, do active recall. What do we mean by active recall is just close that book and revise yourself, ask yourself questions on that topic like an examiner would do you. So um, be your own examiner like you would answer in the Viva. Ask yourself questions. Think of what all questions an examiner can ask you and whether you are able to answer that. If not, you can also, the best way to remember is you can explain it to someone, your maybe your friend, your colleague, your batchmate, or be it even any family member who are from the medical background or not from the medical background. When you try to explain them whatever you have learned, you will realize the areas where, you know, you'll be, uh, uh, you'll be uh, struggling to remember that topic, right? So try to explain it. That is when you teach someone, you remember it the best. Then the next point to remember the most important thing. And many students ask me like, how do I remember so much? I teach many subjects and there are many things. So it is no rocket science. The fact, the secret lies in revision. That's the only thing. Because even I have realized when there's a particular topic, which I have taught only once, that means I have read only once. Even I don't remember that. So revision, revision is the key. So like radiology is on the tip of my tongue because I have read it so many times. I've revised it, revised it so many times. The other subjects, mnemonics, which I uh, keep repeating, I remember them better. So revision is the key, right? Revision is the key. So these are some of the tips that will help you learn faster and retain longer. That is time boxing, having specific deadlines, using the highlighters, making notes, then revision and teaching to someone what you have already learned. So I hope these tips you help you in your studies and do let me know in the comments how much have they helped you and also let me know if there are any other tips that you use personally and you think would be helpful to others here. So thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video. That's for today. See you in the next one soon. Thank you.